I am Harper. I am an AI expert. I have about 10 years of experience in AI and machine learning. I have two degrees from Stanford in computer science focusing in AI. I was at Facebook and then Meta for about four years where I was building machine learning systems. And then I was founding engineer at a startup with the two founders and I started teaching AI ML there and I was making coding guides for fine tuning models. So actually changing the parameters of the model based on data. So it involves code, et cetera. And then that company was acquired by NVIDIA. And now I teach AI and I started this about a year ago on Instagram. So expanding from the coding guides. So I'm so glad that you're here and I'm really excited to start this Q and A series. And one thing I like to talk about here too is the idea of AI being the ultimate polymath. So a polymath is someone who is an expert in a variety of fields. Uh, in, in history, it's been, you know, maybe two or more fields, two or three fields. Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, they were polymaths because they were experts in about two, maybe three fields. Okay. They had massive improvements to society, to the world because of their very unusual ability to find correlations between two distinct areas and we're able to take that synthesis and create something extraordinary. Now we have AI, which is an expert in thousands of different topics and able to find correlations between those topics on its, on its own. And the reason it's able to do that, and oh my gosh, this is just so fun. Now we're getting into emergence and emergent behavior. So the fact that it can find correlations across distinct fields shows it is not just outputting its data because it is finding novel insights. It is able to find these correlations between two different fields that have never been a present in its training data. So it is showing emergent behavior. It is showing capabilities that were not given in its training data. This idea of emergent behavior is new for large language models as of the transformer. And the transformer is a type of architecture that came out in 2018. And that is new. The idea that large language models are showing behavior and thinking kind of in their own way and outputting data that is not in their training data, outputting novel insights. That is emergent behavior and that is new to large language models as of this new architecture called the transformer. And I have a video on the transformer and I will link it here. I don't want to get into that right now, but it's basically just made models so much better. It was a very large reason why we were able to now have models like ChatGPT because before the transformer, the models were not as capable as they are today. And so this idea of emergent behavior is really interesting because it also goes into the, it debunks the idea that AI models are simply, you know, outputting data that they were trained on. So like they are not capable of thinking for themselves. They are just 100% stealing artists work. No, actually, if you, so it's different if you say like, let's, let's look at image generation models, okay? If you say like, I'll put an image in the style of like Dolly, like the, the artist, not the image generation model, it will zoom into the part of its brain that knows about Dolly and then output from that. So its probability distribution has now completely shifted from its general big brain probability distribution to zoom. Dolly, this is what I know. And so every token pixel it outputs, so its own tokens are kind of just like pixels, colors, it outputs will be in this probability distribution. It's zoomed in. But in general, in its big brain self, it encompasses everything. And so it's not just stealing, like not everything it makes is like stolen from some random person. It is the amalgamation of everyone. It is like a human brain in that sense. It is going about the world. It is taking everything in and it is... Creating, creating from what it has learned across millions of examples. And so the reason I'm also talking about emergent behavior here is that it is literally proven that the model has novel insights. So like I would say, you know, even if we didn't have emergent behavior and you were just having the model like generate an image of like a cat, it'll remember, it'll look at its, in its brain if it has thousands and thousands of images of cats, it will consider all of those and that's kind of a bigger world in its brain than like of Dali, you know? So like the more broad the prompt is, the more general and less like 
likely to be directly stealing from something. It is because it's considering all of the data in its probability distribution. And so then, you know, you can think of it as like any one piece of data or sample image of a cat is less likely to influence the entire thing if it has lots of examples of a cat. Its cat output is likely to be novel in that case because it has so many examples to choose from. And so many different styles, you know, like, like think of just the world of cat images. It's like, it's crazy. There's so many different, I mean, there's images of cats, there's paintings of cats, there's memes, there's, you know, there's like a million different worlds of that versus choosing, you know, the portfolio of an artist where it has maybe a hundred pieces of art, maybe less, you know? So again, you have to think about like what you're prompting the model to do and the universe that it has zoomed into based on your prompt. What is its like brain? Like how much is in that portion of its brain? Is it super narrow or is it super large? And with emergent behavior, knowing that the model can then output something it's never seen before, I mean, it's then obviously not just stealing everything. It's coming up with new novel ideas. It's finding these correlations that we've never seen before. So that's what I would say to that in terms of the argument that it is stealing just purely this like stealing copycat machine because that's just not the case.